so in this problem we are given that ad is perpendicular to bc in triangle abc and you have been given that this db it is 3 times cd and you have to prove that twice ab square is equal to twice ac square plus bc square so if you have a look at the figure we have two right triangles triangle adb and we have another right triangle triangle acd right so we are going to apply pythagoras theorem for these two triangles before we begin to apply pythagoras theorem for this two triangles let us take the relationship that is given to us that is db is thrice cd this is given therefore bc will be equal to this bc if i am going to take this bc it is made up of cd plus db so cd plus db since c dash d dash b so bc will be equal to cd as it is this db it is how many times cd thrice so we put here thrice cd so bc will become 4 times cd now look at the claim the claim demands bc square Anna? so we square this term therefore bc square will be equal to 16 times cd square square of 4 will be 16 and cd square so squaring both sides let us call this as your equation number one now come to the two right triangles that is triangle adb and triangle acd okay so in right triangles triangle adb and triangle acd we are going to apply pythagoras theorem okay so first of all i'll take this so ab square is equal to ad square plus db square call this as your equation 2 and ac square will be equal to ad square okay this ac square will be ad square plus cd square so here we write ad square plus cd square this is your equation number 3 let us subtract the two equation okay equation 2 minus equation 3 so that will give you a b square minus a c square is equal to a d square minus a d square plus d b square minus c d square okay we are subtracting the two equations so this a d square gets cancelled now you have a b square minus ac square is equal to db square minus cd square we can replace this db by cd because we are given that db is how many times cd thrice cd so in place of db we are going to put what thrice cd so thrice three times cd but it is squared so we'll have to square it minus cd square will be your ab square minus ac square okay so ab square minus ac square is nine times yeah you can write the reason since db is thrice cd nine times cd square minus cd square so ab square minus ac square is 8 times cd square now come to the claim look at the claim the claim says twice ab square is equal to twice ac square plus bc square now we have 
ए बी स्क्वेर माइनस ए सी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू थ्राइस सी डी स्क्वेर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड डजेंट रिक्वायर एनी थिंग एक्सेप्ट ए बी स्क्वेर सो वी विल ट्रांसफर दिस ए सी स्क्वेर टू द राइट हैंड साइड सो यू हैव ए बी स्क्वेर विल बी इक्वल टू ए सी स्क्वेर प्लस ए टाइम्स सी डी स्क्वेर फन अगेन कम टू द क्लेम लुक एट द क्लेम The claim says twice AB square is equal to twice AC square. Okay, so what we do is we will multiply this equation by two. So therefore, twice AB square is twice AC square plus two into eight times CD square. Reason what you are going to write is multiplying by two. You have multiplied the equation by two, so therefore twice AB square is twice AC square, and two eights are is sixteen times CD square. Come to your equation one. Have a look at your equation one. Equation one says BC square is sixteen times CD square. Come over here. Twice AB square is equal to twice AC square, sixteen times CD square, which is nothing but your BC square. So here we have twice AB square is twice AC square plus what BC square. From where you have taken this? From equation one, and this is what is your claim. This is what you had to prove. See. Twice AB square is twice AC square plus BC square. You got the claim, students. Those who haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to my 